hello, 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 everybody. We're back, week two of the Elite Ninja League. And uh, first match of this week, La Morlette versus Kunoichi. And with me here today uh, is Snug. Hello. Well, good evening. Perhaps good afternoon, or perhaps good morning for those watching in various parts of the world. Of course. Got ourselves a really good match today. La Morlette versus Kuno. Wait a second, that's me on the screen! Yeah, man. Uh, that's you on the screen, indeed. I finally found my mic! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's I, unfortunate that Ten doesn't have one of his own. Perhaps yeah. you should buy the emote. I, uh, <laughs> okay. look, man, I'm saving. I don't know how much this Demon Slayer collab is going to be. I'm a little scared, not going to lie. I'm about to... Purchase. Also, yeah, the pull pulling on the gum, gum gacha will be 200 Jala, which is a scam. Ooh, 200. Hey, man, good thing I'm, uh, <clears throat> good thing I'm rich, right, guys? <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, good thing he's rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, studies. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you can probably see, we're trying something a little bit, a little bit different here. Uh, with our with our UI, so we're gonna need all the feedback we can get. To see how much yep. you guys like it, and what screens you guys would want it on. But for now, we're just gonna rock with this today, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Ooh, Eddie catching uh, Shinui up got to be that Shinui. Yeah. Shinui actually yeah. ended up falling early. Ta yeah, it gets KO'd. Ooh, two catches Tasha. Again, solid. Yep, just basic kill combo. Yeah, again. I, again, like let's just bring up how. It, like after like last week's uh you know like amazing performance from all the spinners that happened that played in that last week yeah uh spinner suddenly became the enemy of humanity i mean uh about the same reasons that uh katana and and sam mm -hmm. did in the past so the thing is like the reason that the reason why is just because like spinner is already well it's always like this good like it was always yeah. this like good it's just no one played it and now, now that it's been visibly buffed, everyone is playing it now. Um, yeah. It's like, not not necessarily the same as Home Run Surfer, in that like when Home Run Surfer all of a sudden got buffed so that Gum Ghost could you know could get binds and all of a sudden became like the most the important weapon in the meta for ENL and it was like in every game, and then like as like, soon as it got nerfed, it disappeared off the face of the planet. So. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's not quite the same thing because Spinner is way more solid than Home Run, but it's kind of the same idea. It's like it was always like this strong or somewhat close to this strong. It's just now that it's been buffed, it's more visible and more people just end up playing it. Yeah, the thing is, like, it was strong, but the reason it was strong because it was consistent. Like, yeah, you could consistent like it, it's strong. The game come from a singular move in its move set. That's the thing. Uh, it came from the consistency of its binds and how easily it was to attain them. Uh, in relation to other weapons, of course. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, speaking Granted. Of, yeah, ooh, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say. Speaking of relations, uh, the relationship between uh, Kunoichi and winning right now at an all-time high. Up a solid yes, five thousand points. Yes. If Alito likes the, uh, let's just say the radical option and uh, yeah. throws himself up along with the drone, does that just secure it? All is well. Again, with word. this seven K lead. Yep. Ooh, if Alito does he catch two? No, no actually. he didn't. No, his break went for went for. I think that's Yonko. Yeah, it went for Kalu instead, and actually, just yeah, went pay for Kalu. Yeah. Life. yeah, gotta pay for it. Targeting lol. Yeah, such such is the way. As Sue, still prepping. Still Sue, oh, could have got broken attack there. Somebody yeah. could have broke attack him. Uh, you gotta be careful. Ooh, Utsu, Tasha, wait, goodbye, did he Tasha. just? No, did Tasha just deploy <laughs> that when they were getting hit? I'm gonna have yep. to disagree. Uh, that was that was preemptive. Uh, it was a preemptive to semi. Oh, it was a classic. Yeah. And uh, Avalis. Oh yeah, is no, dead. you just take second to deploy now, don't they? Yep. Goodbye, Avalis. Uh, you've been, yeah. and you've been touched by the spinner, and you have no friends Touch around you, death. and you're 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 done for. Mm -hmm. I think I think the other thing that makes spinner frustrating is that it takes twenty million years to actually like get a kill. Like, oh my goodness, the wide attack actually brought. Tasha yeah, along the again. wall, which messed up the yo-yo toss. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, that was a bad angle. Yeah, no, Tsu should have adjusted instead of teleporting there. Lyra should have adjusted and then just recalled and then whacked again. She had enough knockback left. I mean, there's honestly a, a plea to just go for a double bind combo. Although I do need to test that myself. Double bind, mm. you can go for double bind combo. It is something that you can do, but mostly it's if you get a short bind. So I'm not quite mm. sure how much it will work as Avalis will get Eep on there. Uh, I would Kaloon have to say it's... Mm, yeah. does get traded on like, the other side, but... I mean, this game is just looking all Kunoichi now. But as you were mm. saying, Snoke. 
Yeah, again, the double blind combo is something I would say is more either, like, if you can guarantee if somebody doesn't have Gum Gum Master, or yeah. if they don't have Gum Defense. If they have Gum Defense or Gum Gum Master, yes, kiss kiss that bind goodbye. <laughs> kiss that, kiss that, kiss that, um, uh, Utsu bind goodbye. Yeah. Uh, but it's just, again, uh, to Utsu on Spinner is either overkill or you're using it for a very specific purpose. Like, I don't think it's the main thing you should build Spinner around. Yeah. Because of how fast and how aggressive the weapon could afford to be, given its range and just capability of binding people. Not even killing them, like, you can just maintain someone. Out of- knock somebody out of the fight, new- and just reduce them to just, like, somebody who needs help. Yeah. I agree that Granted, that doesn't apply to a Popeye. Yeah, That does not course, apply yeah, to Popeye, because yeah, Popeye's yeah, just like, yeah. oh wait, no, men- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just hit- Like, any time there's a Popeye user on the enemy team, and you just wound them, they literally- They literally just run away, like, as fast as a scout, and just scream as medic! Yep. Uh... So, Kuroichi, gonna handily win that game number one. Uh, not really much hold to on, say. Yeah. Well, hold on, let's look at the... Let's, I think we should actually take a look at perhaps why they, why that lost. Uh, I mean... Like, like the comps. Look at the comps. Like, we've got full cap crowd control on one side, and we've got, like, a lot of things that can go through most of the effects. Best example being uh, Shinobi Beast that's able to just ignore sound, so the, sound barriers and lasers. The biggest thing was that Tsu uh, was unchecked. Ba basically, yeah. Tsu could do whatever they wanted the entirety of the match, and no one could really stop them. Um, yep. When you're playing Spinner against, you know, Spinner against Hammer, the Hammer shouldn't be ever be able to do anything but irritate you. Um, mm -hmm. Spinner versus, what, a Sound Hammer, I mean, that matchup is, like, just... Uh, only in That's VR. That's a 75 25. Yeah, only, say, only in Battle Royale. Only in Battle Royale where you can get the jump on, on the spinner player nine times out of ten. And, you know, cough, yeah. cough, and I'm looking at you, Nava. Uh, yeah, can, cough, you cough, make, it, can you make that matchup winnable? Uh, spinner against Trick Ball is spinner favored. And, I mean, Scrap Saber, yeah, it ha does have the tools to, you know, laser is, is a menace, but even still, right? It's a 50 50 matchup that can be played around. Yeah. So here's the thing. Like, if you want to, if you really want to get rid of a spinner, or you don't want to have to deal with it, either, f f as in like, push a two v one. No matter what. If they, even if they have a team next to them, push the two v one and focus down the spinner. It's brittle enough that you can literally just burst it down with a solid amount of damage. Yeah. Whereas, and then focus on the other, on the other teammate because spinner is mainly the one that is going to be saving. It makes a great bodyguard. Can't save the same for other weapons unless it's a scrap saver. Or you force them to move, i.e. you throw a rocket at them, put a froggy block behind them, forcing them to either move towards you, or just take the time to move le left or right, which can give you a second to just whack. Yeah, I think kind of the, 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 the biggest thing for me at least against spinner is just making sure that you're never by yourself. Because if you are by yourself in any circumstances and there's a spinner in your vicinity, you're basically 99% dead, like uh, with no shot at coming back. Yeah. Um, but uh, it also, the screen. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I got you. I got yeah, you. let's let's just climb up to the left, right, up top left, real quick. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Wait, where I, am it, I? Man, it I'm got in the, and it got in the way. I was, I, yeah. I'll, I'll mess around more with it later, uh, to try yeah. to find the best spot for it. But it was getting in the way of a lot of the end games, or not a lot yeah, of the end game so. stuff. So, figured might as well just leave it for in between. But a lot more let. It's again, getting caught. Uh, getting caught in yeah. a bad early game once again. Oh, um, bad KO though. Yeah. Getting caught with I think it's just how aggressive, like, let's compare, because look how aggressive they are. Look how aggressive Kunoichi is. Very. Like, they're, unit. they're doing a 2 2 split on WNA, aren't they? I can pretty much guess. They um, are. They're mostly just controlling the, the middle Mid. area of the map. And, like, for those of you who've, like, who know, who've watched all of my old stuff, you know my biggest thing about WNA is that you stay in the middle, you're guaranteed to win. If you control the three drones in the middle, you're guaranteed to win, because three is bigger than two. Uh, with that being the case, uh, oh, double froggy! Oh, but both geez. are gonna get both. Both are gonna get broken. Yep. Oh my goodness! Indecision got cost them that one. Yeah, and Clue does have Tenchi Muyo, but Edzi will just take over. Electing to save it. Ooh, yoink, slam. Yeah, we'll take out Y Shoddy Afarnito. And it would look like Lamo Light is actually starting to pick up some pace. Yeah. Okay, little... gonna get launched. Doesn't S burst meaning death? 
Like you chose, like either you S busted there because you saw the teleport coming. Yep. Ah, uh, morph. You ready to die? Yep. Afarnito. Oh, oh, one frame too late. One frame too late. But Lamalet still maintains the lead, and this is a good thing because we're in the mid game. Having the lead now means a quite means a fair amount. Yep. Why shot it? It is WNA, so it can switch fairly easily. Here comes a disco. There goes one. Avalus is dead. No, the froggy block slave. Yeah, the save, <laughs> not slave. Save. Oh my top. goodness, the froggy Extremely block. Extremely good save. Avalus is still not. Avalus is still exposed. Ugh. And Avalus actually yeah. ends up getting taken out. But Tornado Avalus from Avalus did actually do that job. Yeah. Okay. Tornado from Avalus. Kayan is going to take it back. They're going to take back the lead, but again, 90 seconds W and 8. A lot of points are still up for grabs. Still waiting on this and rocket still, from White yeah. Shotty though. I wonder when they're. Yeah, but also it. look, we've got one. Yeah, White Shotty is. is. Ooh, he's taking the. He's taking the moment. Do they realize? No, nope, Avalus is gone. Wait, Av so Shinui. Yup, that's that's two. Wait, no, somebody survived. One of them survived. Either way, still pushes them off the drone, and in fact, yeah, I believe it was cleaned up. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a three, four K lead. And yeah, no, Alamola is not earning points at this point. Ooh, it's Z. Yeah, <gasps> that was a mistake. No. Trapped. That was a trap because no matter what Edzy did there, they were gonna get hit by the disco. Very unfortunate. Even if you dodge out, yeah. Like, cause when you dodge out, you're not invincible. Yep. Oh, tanks the dragon like a beast. Yep. Sue so, tanks the dragon. Continues to vibe. With that is a beast. that is a heavy vibe, good sir. Edzy will uh, will take out Avalus in the process as <laughs> Kalu will take out Shinui in the background. Mm. Kunoichi have themselves a pretty solid lead now after La Morlette was showing signs yes, of life. Do. FR Nito will get taken Nito. out, yeah. By the Tenchi Muyo from Kalu. And uh, FR Nito. Gonna have this disco. Gonna try to bring it back, but I mean, this lead from Kunoichi now all of a sudden. Oh no, his his laser aim into Edzy just got deleted by Tsu with a tornado. Yeah. Who, no, Edzy, torn, Edzy deleted it to protect Tsu, never mind. Yeah. This lead by Kunoichi. 10,000. Yeah, 10,000. It, de it developed very quickly. They had. Ooh, that's three. Yeah. No, two, two, two. But looks like somebody's yeah. right there to just save them. Kalu with the weapon break will save all of their teammates' lives as Kunoichi gonna clean up another match in another solid fashion as they will take a 2 0 lead in the series. Mm -hmm. very, it's very EU cool. versus EU. Evidently, this this weekend is the day of the Civil War, isn't it? <sighs> yep, indeed. Got a fun match coming up, but first, this match has to complete, and right now, Kunoichi. In really good position to take this series in full. 2-0 uh, lead. Heading into game number three. La Morlette need to dig their heels in if they're going to bring this one back. <laughs> See how they want to end up doing it. Because this is where it gets difficult. Yeah. 100%. Very, very difficult. Because now we're looking at what? Shinobi City? Maybe? Uh, uh, we are looking at... Yeah, we're looking at Shinobi City. Up. Yeah, you're you're looking at you're looking at like Kunoichi on Shinobi City. Uh, yeah. Well, cool. then again, Shinui isn't exact. Does have a good track. Like Lamo that also has a good track record on this map. So we won't be. Let's not. Let's not panic. Yeah. 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 Uh, again, it's Popeye. Popeye plus Shinobi City equals uh, the usual for most teams. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chinui has. Oh, I, it seems Chinui has accepted uh, accepted the cause, aka Spinner, locked in mm -hmm. for them. I personally. Yep, he has uh, leaned into the degeneracy. <laughs> has has, <laughs> has leaned into what's strong. You mean? As I yeah. mean, I, I personally have never seen Chinui Spinner. But if it's as good as the rest of the weapons, then. Definitely already off to a good start. Sue will lock in Scrap Saber. Double Trick Ball probably going to come in for Kunoichi. Kalu most likely going to lock that one in. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to drop my uh, title as best spinner, actually, because <laughs> considering how many other good players I've yeah. actually, how many good European players are picking up spinner, I'm just like, okay, yeah, yeah fair enough. Everyone is <laughs> everyone picking up spinner. No Buzz Paper Fan going to come in for Edzy. A good well. area denial, but uh, wait, yeah. no, lock. Du okay, double rocket. Actually, yeah, no, double rocket, dragon, a Tenchi, and a tornado for. Yeah. Wait, no, no, not a double rocket. We got a dragon, a disco, and a uh, and a rocket with yep. also a tornado for Lamont Light, and yep. a double rocket for um. Kunoichi. Kunoichi, yeah, du double rocket on this map, just woo. 
One thing I do want to point out, though, like, so double trick ball on Shinobi City was something that it was it was meta for the longest. Um, well, I guess it was meta. In all season two and season three, double trick ball on mm -hmm. Shinobi City was was meta, but come season four, uh, you know Popeye getting. Uh, you know, finally walking out of the hyperbolic time chamber, mm -hmm. ended up taking over as kind of the weapon to use on this map, and it's kind of pushed Trick Ball into not being a two of a more of a one of. But it seems Kunoichi still holds strong, and it looks like they're oh Shinui straight him. down, not even a second in combat, and he's already straight on the ground. Yep. Avalis in a little bit of trouble as well. Uh oh, the clouds do not save him. Uh oh, actually no, they do save Avalis, but for how long? That is the question. Uh-oh, looks like Kalu's also found a victim. Yep. Sue is here to stop that right away. I mean, this is just a risk. Again, goodest game. This is early. This I is mean, typical. This is early game. It's a little bit... It's not necessarily messy, but... Atlas it's, coming in to protect a... Yeah. It's definitely yeah. a lot more active um, than yeah, a lot active. of other... A lot of other round starts that you normally would see while Shadi misses the Gumboost Impact. Unfortunately, trying to finish off Avalis, but Avalis just going to walk away from Time that one. Only, then again... Walking away from your opponent is actually a good way of just, like, walking backwards on someone is just, like, a good way of dodging most things. Yep. FR Nito. Unfortunately, uh, FR Nito does not get caught by the Pokemon Boys and will just not allow a color to get away. Yep. Z. We'll work on farming even another though, Pokemon Poison. Even though they are currently winning. Uh oh. Well, Shinui? say goodbye, Shinui. Have fun. Yep. Boom. Smack. Nope. No teammates around. Equals you do not get to. Death. No teammates around it means you do not get to enjoy the video game and you get thrown against the wall. Yep. 100% rocket available for Y Shoddy. Uh, we'll see how they use it. Avalis most likely gonna go down uh -oh, here. Uh oh. Yep. Sue yep, will pick up Avalis. another Epon here. Ooh. FL Nito. Goodbye. Oh, let it, passes it over. Passes it over to. Who was that? It was. I may have been Shinui. Yeah. FL Nito has. Okay. As Edzy gets Ooh, absolutely obliterated by the rocket or by the dragon from Avalis. Rocket from Avalis will Does go Sue down. Take it? No, no, Sue sees it coming. Avalis and Shinui are about to get launched in two different directions. Mm -hmm. But the drone goes long or less way. Tasha will take out. Uh, Tasha Kalu. takes out. Yep, take, Tasha takes out Kalu. Do not again. That is uh, you kind of asked for it. Ooh, takes another drone. Good break, but it's about to get the suit. The super, super armor. armor is doing super wonders. Armor just taking everything, but you choose wrong. You can yeah. Dash out. Dash out of parry there, definitely an option. Unless they're out of jumps, of course. Yep, a oh, half of Dragon already. He's just used that, and it's already almost back up. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, then again, for that, how how easy it is to dodge. Dragon's charge, charge B makes sense. Yep. 70 second cooldown, base, you know, and obviously, Base, right? and, uh, well, of course, gaining any kind of energy can make it from either a 50 to a 40 second cooldown, depending on, well, how you use it. Yeah, Edzy gets their weapon broken. No chase, though, coming from Tasha. No, no, we'll just yep, let him no. Go. Tasha has other priorities right now. With with last bird active, this is the moment where they can actually make things count. Edzy can't touch them unless they, he, he uh, 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 the charge uh, I mean, or a rocket comes yeah. in and just deletes you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was the other option. I was about <laughs> to say, unless somebody throws a rocket their way, Tashik is going to get uncontested, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, well, why shot he just gets yeeted out of existence as well? Yep. Spinner toss, yo-yo toss from Shinui. We'll take out why uh, shot yes. Oh! Oh Clue. no! Hey, fall? dead count is an Epon. Yep. Joint killer, probably. Ooh, rocket, rocket will come in. Down. Come on and slam. Oh, no. Nope. Edzy, Edzy, and Edzy. Uh oh. Double kill. The drone is still up. 4k difference. Yep, a little Kalu bit. Of, doesn't even see him. A little bit of, come, of a comeback being staged by Efranito, but. Or by Efranito and La Morlet. Yeah, they've but. given enough space. Yeah, it's a 3k difference. This is enough. No, it's not 2k. Who has Epon? Who has who has drone? Shinui with a good save, but a disco save from Sue as well. Why he shot he will fall? The disco. Wait, the entirety oh, of wait the entirety oh, of uh, the entirety oh. of Kunoichi ended up falling there in the, the last couple Kunoichi seconds. Kunoichi goes down. Who just won? With Epon Master from Sue, with five. I don't know if it was matched by oh. anyone on the side of La Morlet. This is close. This is very close. Yep. No! Epon, the Epon Master from 2 had 5 that five. match with the Scrap so, I Saber. I think everybody else on Lemot Lamp was 2 off. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, the Scrap Saber is so good at racking up Epon very quickly. I was. Like, it packs such a punch. 
that match was super, super scary, though, on the side of uh, Kunoichi. You know, the entire their entire team actually, you know, getting taken out in the last 20 seconds. La Morlette able to pick up basically every drone on the map with, like, minimal mm -hmm. to no contest. Like It made for a close game, but it made for a very close last game. But unfortunately, yeah. it's going to end up in a 3-0. You know, 3-0 for Kunoichi. Pardon me for a moment, I will get a beverage. Yep. Really solid performance overall. Um, from Kuroichi, really dominant performance. La Morlette couldn't quite kick things into 100% gear, but uh, knowing them, it ain't no problem. And next week, they're going to be back and ready for action. Kunoichi, though, sitting pretty. Uh, after beating La Morlette, they are now in sole possession of the first place in their group, and certainly they're going to be happy about that one. But if you know them as much as I do, they definitely are going to want more. They're aiming to win this whole season, and uh, they're already off to a good start. So, that being the case, that's it for this match. Got a, got another match coming up, and it's going to be a nice little prelude to the match coming after. You know, you might be wondering, yep. you know, why are we having WNX Chaotix and WNX Exiled playing? Well... A little bit of a, a little bit of inter 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 clan uh, inter clan warfare today with Sub Jaxes versus Ascension and in the secondary league, uh, we already had you know we already had WNX Exiled and WNX Chaotix pitted against each other. So I thought I eh, might as well show them both, kind of kind of rile up that civil war kind of you know kind of vibe going on this week. So up next we're gonna have WNX Exiled versus WNX Chaotix. A little bit of a, a little bit of once in a lifetime experience you're gonna find, but I'm certain it's gonna be a good one. So, without further ado, don't go anywhere, and we'll be back with that match ASAP. Indeed. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> 